Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I've been overwhelmed with how many people actually liked my first video and subscribed and commented and just it's so lovely. Anyway, I was not expecting that. So here we are on video two. Today I'm going to be posing the age-old question, are the Leafs going to win the Stanley Cup this year? You know it's the question that we all hate but love at the same time. So the Stanley Cup slash playoff series drought is a problem and I think it's the kind of plague of any Leafs fan. So it's the 21-22 season, finally the year that we're at least going to get past the first round. Possibly win the cup. We'll see about that. So is it, is it a bold claim to think that, I, I, I think I think they could do it this year, okay? I mean there's a variety of factors which we're going to discuss. We're going to discuss all those things. But personally, I think, you know, if you don't have optimism, what's the point in following a team? You know, what's the point in following a team just to hate on them all the time? That just seems so, so pointless. So I'm going to put it out here and be like, yeah, you know what? They could win the cup this year. Could, being the operative word here. If they will, I don't know. I don't have a crystal ball. So today we're going to be discussing the top five factors in whether the Leafs will win the cup or not this year. There's so many I could have gone for, but we're going to stick with five, just for the sake of everyone's sanity. So the first one is goaltending. You're never going to get far in the cup race if you do not have solid goaltending. And this is the area which I think the Leafs have grown the most in and have the most strength in right now. Jack Campbell is a machine. I love so Anyone who knows me knows how much I rate Jack Campbell. I mean, he's, he's at least in the top five, maybe three goalies in the league right now. I, I, I don't want anybody to try and argue with me on that. I will die on that hill. He is incredible. He's just, not only is he the most precious human being, but he has saved us so many times when the D have kind of left him hung out to dry a little bit, if we're being honest here. And he has saved so many games for us and some of his saves are just incredible. I. I just adore that man. He is solid, he always does his best and he's also such a self-critic which I hate seeing because it's very rare that he deserves that kind of criticism. In fact, I don't think he's ever deserved that kind of criticism but he does it anyway and I think his goaltending is solid. I think we haven't seen enough of Mrazek to really kind of make any claim on him but uh, Wall is like a backup. I, I personally rate very highly and I would be more than happy to see Campbell and Wall as backup and that be our kind of starting backup set up. I'd be more than happy with that and I feel like he saves the kind of goals that could definitely push us forward in, in the playoffs. But we'll need to see because of course injuries happen, people get sick, people deteriorate sometimes very quickly. Goalies are quite unpredictable in that nature which is what's so amazing about them but you can never be too sure but I, I have a lot of faith in Jack Campbell and I rate him highly and I think he is the kind of goalie that would take us at least past the first round. So factor two is going to be the one that I think is probably the most important and it's just to do with the seed, it's who we get in the first round. It's who we get in the first round and it's whether we have home ice advantage or not. And you know that's one of those things that you, you can only control by trying to like win the division basically. That's all we can do. But Sadly, the top top two in the league right now, which is Tampa and Florida, are obviously in our division. So, you know, we're, we're playing up against the hardest teams, I would argue. Um, so it's not going to be an easy task if we get them in the first round, either of those teams in the first round. So that's one of those things that it's just, it's just the way that the rest of the league pans out, isn't it? That's all that we can really hope for. But I feel like our playoff success is going to be quite fundamentally based on who we're playing in the first round because we're, we're cursed in the first round, you know? So we're just going to wait and see on that factor. Section three, the third factor, is the core. So we pay a lot for some of the guys and you know, I, I'm the biggest Austin Matthews fan, everyone knows this, but him and Mitch in the past playoffs haven't really hit the spot, you know? And for guys on salaries like that, they need to be hitting the spot in playoff time. Because in the regular season, they are amazing. But when it comes to playoffs, not so much. So, I mean, currently I'm filming this on January 12th. So, you know, we're like, we're like a decent bit 
into the league by now. So it's, it's fair to kind of use stats to make up your points. So, you know, we are currently top of the league with face-off win percentage. We have 55.5% and of course face-off wins, face-off wins are underrated, they're so important for keeping possession, you know, and getting it in the right zone. I don't care what anyone says, face-off wins are important and we're leading the league in them right now, so we need to keep that up. Also, our penalty kill is okay, 85.6%, but I feel like we maybe need to kind of up that a little bit into the 90s because if we have a game with poor game management, we're going to need that and you know sometimes that happens, NHL officiating is a whole different topic which we can discuss but it is one of those things that we'll have to try and keep on top of because if you're not, if you don't have a good penalty kill you're going to be screwed over in the playoffs because poor game management is certainly an issue in the NHL right now. 6th of December game, Winnipeg versus Toronto, I'm looking at you. Need to keep that up though because as I said regular season Leafs versus playoff Leafs two different things and we need to be doing what we're doing the regular season in the playoffs basically because if we did that last year we would have maybe not got the cut but at least got the first round and we, we should have got out of the first round you know annoying which leads me on to my next point which is the fact we need to avoid the game seven we need we need to avoid it right we need to be winning in advance of the game seven because there's something about the Leafs that they continuously choke and bottle Game sevens when it really matters, you know, and we, we've seen recently, we've seen recently versus Vegas and Colorado that clearly they're still a team who can blow a lead, which is never useful in the playoffs. But we'll just we need to we need to be increasing on that, and it concerns me that that's one thing that we still seem to be prone to this season. So that's going to prove challenging come playoff time. But we need to be winning, you know, ahead of it going to game seven. I feel like as soon as it goes to game seven. There just seems to be this thing where we're going to blow it. So, you know, trying to win ahead and making sure that we're not taking it to Game 7, I think, is incredibly important. But again, it depends who we're given in the first round, you know. It, it kind of depends on that a lot. But we need to be avoiding that game, I think, because there seems to just be something about this team. No matter how much the team changes, they're capable of bottling it. And if you give them a Game 7, they seem to be just choking. So we need to change that. And finally, my fifth factor is taking the analysis and the stats right out of it and it's just breaking the curse. You know, that curse, that Toronto curse that we all <laughs> have come to be kind of put under the spell under. We need to break that. And I mean, this is completely away from any stats and I suppose evidence of any kind. But still, there seems to just be this notion that the Leafs are a cursed team and it feels like we're kind of the laughing stock sometimes of the league even though secretly we're just living rent free in all their heads because why do they care so much? Care about your own team. Should be about your team winning. But we need to be, we need to be breaking that and you know I don't, I don't quite know my, my take on how we could do that. Like there's, there's many ways but we need to be breaking the habits that have caused us to fall short in the past and as I just said they're blowing leads like we have done recently that that is something that we need to be breaking because when you've got the same habits you'll have the same outcomes and the outcome in previous years since you know 92-93 season has not been good you know since then that's not even in my lifetime come on I was born in 2000 I would just like to see us get past the first round and eventually win a cup is that so much to ask but we need, to, we need to be breaking that curse and just, just uh, breaking the curse even in the way of getting out of the first round. If we're getting out of the first round, in my opinion, we've broken that curse and even if we don't go on to win the cup, I would still be quite impressed. Especially if we win the first round against a team like Tampa or Florida. Like, I would not be so devastated about the cup then. Although it would also be a shame to be that close, but so far. But anyway, we'll need to see come playoff time. So that is my five factors in answering whether or not the Leafs will win the cup this year. And I know that the answer is inconclusive, but like in summary, I think we can do it. And I think this team is the best shot we've had at it in a long time, certainly in my lifetime. But they have to break a lot of the things that are holding them back. And I think only if they do that will they succeed. Let, let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think the Leafs are going to do it this year? Do you think they're not? Do you think they'll at least get out of the, out of the first round? Because we'd like them to get out of the first round, you know.
So leave a comment down below, tell me what you think about the Toronto Maple Leafs playoff hopes for this season. Still, still, so there's still time to, for it to go drastically wrong or to pick up. So let me know what you think. Make sure to like, subscribe. Um, I'll pop my social medias up here, especially Twitter, because if you're not, if you're on hockey Twitter and you're not following me, what are you doing? <laughs> um, yeah, and thank you again for watching. I'm really appreciative of everybody taking the time out to watch my videos. I appreciate it so much. So yeah, thank you guys for listening and I hope you have a great day and keep cheering on the Leafs because they need it. <laughs> Bye guys.